The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. In the room, and I'll come back to you if necessary. So, yeah. Yeah, again, obviously, we've touched on the goal scoring exploits of Roberto and Mo Salad this season. When you're going into games like this in the Champions League, what kind of a psychological edge do you feel it, it gives you? What? Where? Where did you start with the goal scoring of Salah and Firmino? What's well, because we've just spoken to Roberto then, and obviously I was touching on what Dejan Lovren had said to us last week as well. And he said that Luka Modric, for instance, would be scared to face Liverpool this season <laughs> as well in Europe. So I'm just wondering, given that attacking prowess that you've got in your side, what kind of a psychological edge it gives you, you feel? Look, I don't think Dejan Lovren would uh, got up in the morning and thought, um, I open the door and shout, all European teams are afraid to face Liverpool. So it was somebody asked a question and it was full of confidence. I like that. But it's as well, nobody wants to play against Porto, to be honest, because they are a really good football team. So it's just part of the business that we ask, uh, did we answer questions and somebody asked us. But we didn't think a second about other teams in Europe or who could be afraid or not when they, when they meet us. So yes, we are on a good day. We are really strong. But we need to be outstandingly strong tomorrow to get a result here at Porto because they are very experienced, very experienced, really very physical, hard, good footballers, good plan. So it's uh, quite a job to do and that's all we are focused on. But in a very positive way, so we are looking forward to it. It's, we wanted to come here, um, we could, I don't know, when was the draw? In December? Probably. So it's long ago, if you want, pretty much two months. So we had long, it was long enough to wait for the next round in Champions League. But to be honest, last summer we dreamt of it and now we are here. And um, it's, it's good. It's really good. It feels good. It's, everything is prepared. And last 16 means 16 really, really good football teams face each other. And Porto face Liverpool and Liverpool face Porto. That's it. Portanto, a pergunta era, dando, o, tendo em conta o ataque do Liverpool, se sente que isso que é uma vantagem psicológica para estes jogos, se sente melhor com, com essa situação. Ah, o Sr. Copo disse que não acho isso, que toda a gente tenha medo de jogar contra o Liverpool, eu posso dizer a mesma coisa sobre o Porto, toda a gente ter medo de jogar contra o Porto, eu não penso nisso, num dia bom somos fortes, mas amanhã temos que ser excepcionalmente bons, para bater o Futebol Clube do Porto, nós estamos ansiosos pelo jogo da manhã, queremos jogá-lo, o sorteio já foi há dois meses atrás, uh, está tudo preparado, estamos nas 16 melhores equipas e todas elas são muito boas. Second question, Ben. Yeah, I know as well the question as to the rotation of the goalkeepers has been raised again. It seems to be that some would jump to the conclusion that if you don't rotate your goalkeepers for this game, then that gives an indication as to Simon's future at the club. What would you say to that? Does it indeed give yeah, nobody indication? knows about the future, so uh, or, or I don't know about the future. So that's all. That's in this business always the same. So nothing that says nothing about that. I would say, but it's not about me to um, think about these kind of things. So I have to make a decision for tomorrow night. That's all, and that's what I will do. No problem. Tanto a pergunta era sobre a rotação dos guarda-redes. Há quem diga que dependendo do jogo da manhã que isso será. Uh, um, um, digamos, algo que vai dizer mais sobre o futuro dos próprios guarda-redes. O Sr. Copo disse que ninguém sabe sobre o futuro, eu não sei sobre o futuro, eu não penso sobre isso, eu só tomo as decisões de quem vai jogar amanhã e mais nada. Ok, we'll like to open up to the floor if there are some uh, from, the, uh, from, from our hosts would like to ask some questions. So Mr. Klopp, if you could indicate. Gentleman there with the microphone, if you just wait for the main microphone to come. Uh, muito boa tarde, Manuel Chaves, Sport TV. Uh, Queria perguntar ao Sr. Klopp um, se ele entende que esta será uma eliminatória verdadeiramente a dois jogos ou se uh, o de amanhã poderá já deixar as coisas encaminhadas para uma das equipas. Você acha que esta fase vai ser 
to, in two games, or only tomorrow's game is going to be really decisive and the second game is not to be that, that important. <laughs> Did that happen a lot in the Champions League? I'm not sure. That one game is enough? You decided the first game? Can't remember that. I didn't think a second about that, to be honest. We thought um, that we need a result. We need to get a result here. To, but how you can imagine, we believe in Anfield. We really know that Anfield is a, a place where the crowd can make the difference and that's what we will want to use in the second game. But for that we need a result in the first game. So we will fight for everything tomorrow night for sure. We don't think about deci deciding the, the, the stage already. We think about getting a result with with gives, gives us a good chance in the second game. But it will be hard work, we know that. Portanto, a resposta seria, eu acho que, que é difícil dizer isso. Uh, nós queremos fazer um bom resultado. Sabemos que Anfield é importante para nós. Vamos tentar fazer a diferença em Anfield, mas isso não importa se amanhã não fizermos um bom resultado aqui uh, no Dragão. Ok, next two questions. Gentlemen, the grey jumper, and then we'll come to you in front. Excuse me, uh, just gentlemen down here. Light jumper. Boa tarde, Silvio Vieira, Renascença. Mr. Klopp, uh, did you expect to come to Porto and um, see Casillas in the bench? <laughs> First of all, I didn't expect to see him in the, where was it, in the lobby. I saw him already. So, um, well, nothing to say about that, to be honest. So that's not my decision. As a manager, you have to make decisions. So, and obviously, um, if it's like this, I'm not sure. Is it like this? You are, you, you know it? Uh, you are not sure. You think. Uh, so I have nothing to I have nothing to say about that. Then. So. Então, a pergunta era se, uh, se esperava ver o Casinhas no banco no futebol clube do Porto, com, como tem sido ultimamente. Uh, ele disse que não esperava se quer encontrar no corredor. Uh, eu não tenho a certeza, nem tenho nada a dizer sobre isso, porque o treinador é que decide. Uh, mas tenho a certeza que sabe que se ele vai ficar no, no, no banco ou não, não sabe, portanto, eu também não sei. O gentleman who's got the microphone now, I think, or we'll have in a second the coat. Olá, Mr. Klopp. Luís Rocha Rodrigues, 00. Um, a minha pergunta tem a ver com a questão de tática. O Porto é uma equipa que varia uh, nos jogos grandes, uh, às vezes apresenta-se em 4-4-2, outras vezes em 4-3-3. Uh, Qual é a sua previsão para o jogo da manhã? So, Porto é um time que varia as táticas, sometimes 4-4-2, sometimes 4-4-3 in these big games. What is your expectation for tomorrow? Or 4-4-1-1, eh? Crazy. Yeah, but that's football. If, if you watch us, we don't play always the same system, eh? So, maybe we can surprise each other. So, it's the system never will win the game, by the way. Um, it's all about the players and what they do in the, um, the, about their decision making and doing the right thing in the right moment. Throwing your heart on the pitch if you want, give everything you have, all that. That's football and not this, not about system. System are important, very important, but only to bring the players in their best position. I think in the moment when we see the names of the players, we have a quite a good idea about the system and that's all the time we need. Um, but then again, that will not be too decisive if we do the right things. It's only one part of the game, and um, I, I respect Porto a lot. I know that they are this kind of mixture of of football and fight. I, I like it, and um, experience and youth, good organized and fluent. So that's. Um, but to be one hundred percent, they didn't play. 20 times so far against a team like us, we are not too bad. And we know that as well. And that's what we want to show. Not to show it, no, to use it. And then we will see in two weeks or so, finally, tomorrow night, and then in two weeks we will be better. But I know it's a close race. No problem with that. Portanto, o Sr. Klopp disse que às vezes em 4-4-1-1, uh, isso é futebol, nós também modificamos o sistema, o sistema não ganha jogos, os jogadores sim, ganham jogos, eles é que sabem o que devem fazer e têm que fazer e dar o seu máximo. Não vai ser decisivo o sistema tático, os jogadores fazerem as coisas nos momentos certos, isso é que é decisivo, isso é que importa. Ele diz que gosta do Porto, que é uma mistura de garra com, com tática, mas nós somos, também somos bons e vamos usar isso amanhã uh, no jogo. 
Okay. Last couple of questions uh, for Mr. Klopp. We'll go for the gentleman there on the end of the row, and then we'll finish with the gentleman with the red microphone. Boa tarde, Sr. Klopp. Pergunto-lhe, é a primeira vez que vai jogar contra equipas portuguesas e perguntava-lhe um, o que é que gosta, uh, o que é que conhece do futebol português e sobre os jogadores portugueses, que características é que os jogadores portugueses têm e que particularmente lhe aprecia? So it's the first time you're going to play against Portuguese teams. Uh, the question is what do you know? Yeah, as a coach. Ah, okay. um, what do you know about the Portuguese uh, teams and what do you know about the characteristics of the Portuguese players? Oh, I had a few Portuguese players, so uh, um, I know a lot about it. I watch a lot of football and I know about it, this country <laughs> and uh, a little bit about the people in this country. So it's it's um, a big passion for football and um, not the biggest country in the world, but unbelievably successful. So that's quite easy. Good coaches, good managers uh, working all over the world. Um, fantastic footballers playing all over the world in the past, in the present and will have in the future. So we know that it's quite difficult as a league to cope with other big countries like Spain, England, I mean by France and for sure Germany. So to keep all your players together, but still a lot of fantastic players play in this league. So the, the three big clubs. I watched a lot of the games, to be honest, and because of the, it's just always interesting. So many really talented young players coming up and Portugal is a fantastic league to give them the opportunity to play on a really high level and then If um, they are doing a good job, then maybe uh, they'll become interesting for yourself. So that's why I watched it really a lot and tried to see it. Benfica, Porto, Sporting play against each other. I always try to see it. So I'm, I feel quite good prepared, to be honest. Uh, I'm a big football fan, first of all. That means I like Portugal because it's a big football country. That's it. Portanto, eu conheço e vejo muito futebol uh, português e, e sei também que as pessoas têm muita paixão pelo jogo. Tem bons treinadores e jogadores, uh, bastante conhecidos e talentosos no passado, no presente e também de certeza no futuro. É um país pequeno, uh, mas com jogadores fantásticos, uh, uh, com três grandes clubes. Eu vejo muitos jogos da língua portuguesa, principalmente jogos dentro dos grandes e, e sei da qualidade de, do, do futebol português. Ok, and it's going to be the final question from Zed, from me. Yes. Jürgen, when uh, people ask about who can win the Champions League this season, Liverpool might not be the first name they mention. It was the same in 2005. Can this side emulate what the 2005 side did? I don't think that the 2005 side thought about this um, before the last 16, round of the last 16. If it would really surprise me, but I could ask Rafa. I'm pretty sure they didn't, so it makes no sense. Um, I have no idea, but if we will be, if we would be in the final, and I can say that we tr would try to win it for sure. But it's such a long way, and only good football teams. And I don't. It's not enough to say that I don't like it. Actually, I hate it to talk about the round after the actual round. So I don't. If only because I'm a friendly person, I answer the question. And because we are in public, usually, if somebody asks me about the next round, I leave the room immediately. <laughs> Won't ask again. <laughs> But we are live on television, that's why I didn't do it. Portanto, a pergunta era se em 2005 também o Liverpool não era, não era favorito e acabou por, por ganhar, se este ano também pode ser da mesma forma. Uh, o Mr. Klopp disse que em 2005 também de certeza que não pensavam em ganhar e até podia perguntar ao Rafa Benítez que também não pensaria assim. Falta muito, muito jogo para, para pensar nisso. Aliás, eu detesto falar na próxima ronda. Normalmente, eu até sairia da sala para uma questão de, de, de educação e eu respondi à pergunta, mas eu não, 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 não gosto de falar da, da, das próximas rondas. E nós saímos a sala quase imediatamente. Por causa da conclusão da press conference. Muito obrigado.